Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials today. Very big video as we're going to be talking about how Meta are looking to scrap the current version of the Horizon platform in overhauling it, replacing it with a brand new format or updating it at least. For those who are not familiar with what Meta Horizon Worlds are, it's basically Ready Player One version of a social media metaverse platform for people to be able to tr be transported into another universe and basically enjoy all the various different activities that you can and socialize with all your friends and family and new people inside of various different worlds and as the trailer that came out a couple years ago looks really really awesome unfortunately the actual platform itself has been plagued by criticism now in 2022 it was apparently that there were about 300,000 users using it on a monthly basis or something which to me sounds completely made up to be honest with you as it didn't really feel like when you go into the platform there were that many people using it also there were other issues with safety and children things and also privacy and all those kind of different things as well and of course it was so bad that one of the vice presidents for actual uh, Meta, who was dealing with the platform itself, was actually, in, uh, if we go here, the VP of Horizon called Sharma, who is based in Seattle area, oversaw various VR projects such as Horizon World's social media service, which akin to the game, to the online game Second Life, that's been retrofitted to virtual reality. Other Horizon products include the VR based workspace. Uh, sorry, Workplace Collaboration App Horizon Workrooms and the Horizon Venues app for live events, which was moved into the core worlds this summer. This was um, in 2022, everybody. So the vice president was actually sacked as well because basically they weren't able to draw up the numbers and make the platform, especially the graphics were so poor, to bring it up to par in terms of what the standards were at that time. So Meta Horizon was actually competing a lot with platforms like Roblox, for example, which has millions of people in it, and also, of course, with Rec Room, which is going to be available in the special computing VR headset that will be the Apple Vision Pro released next year in 2024. So let's go back into the article to give you the lowdown as to what's going on. So Meta is looking to basically reboot Horizon Worlds as a VR platform struggles to grow. Now, by the way, Horizon was also supposed to be made on a phone as well as a uh, tablets, not only virtual reality, and also they lower the edge to try and target more kids and the lower, I would say, tweens basically. So, tweens are between the age of eight and the age of, let's say, 12, even though the VR headset itself, you're not supposed to be able to use it unless you're under the age of 10, as they lower the age from 13 to 10 years old. And also, the other thing that they were looking to do is they try to attract some of the corporate brands to come on board. For example, Wendy's, who also had opened a restaurant inside of Horizon Worlds, but there aren't that many actual, let's say, corporate brands who are using uh, Horizon because there simply aren't that many people who are using it at this moment in time. So now let's go into the news about this overhaul and replacement in terms of how they're going to build the new Horizon platform. So Meta is over here overhauling, excuse me, its Horizon platform virtual reality app to include more video games as a special platform struggles to basically find a bigger audience. Horizon World is the company's free virtual reality social network where people can create avatars and also interact with other players. And as I mentioned before, you can also create your own worlds inside of Horizon as well. In an effort to make Horizon Worlds more compelling, Meta now has an in-house studio dubbed Uro Interactive that's focused on making first party virtual reality games. Meta's vice president of Metaverse, Vishal Shah, said in an interview published Friday with the Lopas Technology newsletter. So here's more news about it. The studio's first VR game, a shooter called Super Rumble, debuted Friday and reportedly contains better graphics and fidelity than other VR games built on top of Horizon Worlds. So guys, by the way, if you've tried this game, you know, do let us know, do leave some comments below whether you've tried it, whether you agree, whether the graphics are good, whether the gameplay is good, and also more importantly, are there anyone there that are not kids inside of Horizon World of this game? Let us know in the comment below. We'd love to get your feedback about this. So Meta plans to test. It eventually debuts a mobile version of Horizon Worlds, Shah said. So basically the mobile version has not yet been basically, you know, the mobile version, as I was talking uh, just now, has not yet been unveiled to the general public. So I guess it's still on the testing, even though the mobile version of Horizon Worlds 
was announced more than a year ago. So, uh, so sorry, I really thought it was already out by that time, but it seems that it's not yet. So let's continue back into the actual article. Um, so let me just let me just focus on the camera. There we go. So this is definitely more than just a new world chat set, referring to it as the next generation of Horizon Worlds. Everybody, you've heard it here. Next generation of Horizon Worlds. Expect more video games to debut as Meta builds a new Horizon Worlds chat set. Explain that Meta has also revamped the VR platform's infrastructure to support higher quality, more complex games and provide more tools for third party developers. As consumers come to Horizon, we want to make sure that a bunch of compelling content that they can find on day one, Chad told the newsletter. We're going to see the ecosystem bootstrap it with stuff that we built both in-house, but also stuff with some studios that we're working with. So basically, it seems that basically what they're looking to do is create more content to be more entertaining for gamers and for people to be more basically you know, they don't want people to leave the platform. So it makes sense that perhaps, you know, there'll be a ton of mini games inside a little bit like Rec Room. It sounds to me like they're basically doing what Rec Room is doing right now. If you go into Rec Room, you can play so many different games in so many different worlds and the graphics are not too bad. Although if you're playing it on the Quest 2 or the Pico 4, the graphics are appalling, dismal, terrible. But if you play it on a, a computer or perhaps on your phone or something, then the graphics will be much better. So yeah, so it'll be very interesting to see guys how it's actually uh, going to, you know, how, how all this is going to work out. I'm just trying to get my so continuing with the article, Sha said that when Meta releases a mobile version of Horizon Worlds, he plans for the he plans, excuse me, for the app to act as the bridge between smartphones and the company's Quest VR headsets. That's very very interesting. So, you know, the mobile gaming area is still making tons of money. So interesting to see how they can capitalize on this. Of course, we're going to we're going from a world where we are VR only to a place where we're going to be VR first, Sha said. So it sounds to me like, you know, VR is still the most important part of Meta's long-term strategy, even though they're trying to not really talk so much about it, because every time they do, the press just pound on them like a bunch of wolves, hungry wolves, and also the share prices dive down as the press talks bad about them. But the long-term strategy, of course, they didn't change their name to Meta for anything. It is very much about VR and also MR, which is mixed reality, everybody, of course. So if we can continue with the actual uh, article, the revamping of Horizon Worlds comes amid Meta's latest earnings report, which showed the company Reality Labs unit recorded a 3.7 billion operating loss, generating 270 million 276 million in revenue. So guys, by the way, for those who weren't following very recently, the company's actually made more than 20 or 30 billion dollars in loss. Now, I wouldn't really so much look at it as a loss as much as it is an investment. So they made about a third of their money back so far, but of course the strategy is long-term as I mentioned. So again, don't look at it so much from a negative point of view from the press as they love to pound on Meta and everyone in the VR world telling us that basically our space is dead but it's not it's all an investment we are at the very start of our industry and now of course thankfully all the vr headsets are getting much much better so it's just a matter of time before this industry is going to skyrocket to the stratosphere everybody but the fact is that meta are basically uh, making it you know finding it quite hard to make any menu any revenue excuse me since the beginning of 2022 the reality tabs unit has lost over 21 billion us dollars underscoring the massive investment required to develop VR and augmented reality technologies or mixed reality technologies, excuse me, I think that's what they should put there, needed to build a compelling metaverse, of course. Um, so Meta's Horizon Worlds represents the company's Roblox-like digital playground intended to attract users who wish to play games and interact with others like 3D social network, but it doesn't become uh, the mainstream hit with the service reportedly attracting less than 200,000 monthly users, underscoring the public's current general lack of enthusiasm for VR. Now, personally speaking, I doubt that there are 200,000 monthly people inside of Horizon World. I could be wrong, but you know, it's not the first time that Facebook have inflated numbers. In fact, you know, they've been sued for that kind of stuff in telling people that there were more uh, younger crowd joining Facebook, but it was actually found out that it was false. And then uh, one of the one of the investor group actually decided to take them to court because they proved that it was false. So it's very easy to inflate numbers in these kind of circumstances. There's not really much auditing going on. And also you can create so many different robots and all these kind of things inside of the world. It's very easy to inflate those numbers. So I just take it with a pinch of salt, but no doubt there are a few thousand people inside. I just don't know whether there really are 200,000 people in Horizon itself. 
on a monthly given day. But let me know, let me know, you know, when you go into Horizons, do you use, do you use Horizon? Um, do you find that there's a lot of people in there? Do you find there's a lot of interactivity in there? What do you wish to see inside of Horizon? Love to start this conversation with you because personally, I haven't been in it yet. I haven't used the Quest 2 yet. So it'd be very interesting to get your feedback about this. Do leave some comments below so we can have that conversation together. And how do you feel compared to Roblox or compared to Rec Room? It is as Roblox has just basically launched a app on App Lab, a demo app apparently. So do go and check it out. Let me know what you feel. But personally for me, when I use Roblox over VR headset, it never really worked perfectly, to be honest with you. It's not meant for VR at the moment. So, you know, and also what does it mean having Roblox? Does it mean that Meta are just going to basically take the data and monitor Roblox users to see how they can use that data in order to make it better for the own Meta Horizon and then eventually drop Roblox altogether? Who knows? Let's speculate together. Leave some comments below. All right, guys, thank you very much for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye for now, guys. Bye for now. Bye.